everyone. I'm Shaylee. If you're new around here, oh, these jeans are tight. Let me get comfy here. I recently placed a MAC haul because I noticed they had some new blush colors in their mineral line that I had never played with. They have a ton of new bronzers as well, just a line of different colors. And none of these things are super new. They're just new to me and newer, like within the last couple of years, I would say. And then I needed some new lipsticks. I do makeup for my job. So yeah, I only got a few things. So typically I wouldn't make a haul video for this, but my camera was set up from a video I made earlier and I thought why not I'll just have an extra video to pop on YouTube and say hi today so yeah lip products blushes bronzers let's go by the way I think I said it but my name is Shay if you're new around here I usually make vlogs makeup videos get ready with me's organizing decor manifesting visualization inspiring romanticizing videos I just like a little bit of everything so if you enjoyed today's video click subscribe so you can hang out with me more but let's just get started okay so first of all I got some bronzers I can't remember how many are in the line but they have probably I would say at least six or eight so they go like light medium deep and then they're either in rosy or golden so kind of how Mac sets up their foundations I used to work at Mac by the way so you know that's why I love Mac because I just am very familiar with a lot of their products so they set up their foundations in either NC or NW I mean there's other things there's just W there's just C but in general all of their base products are either NC or NW. And what that means is gold or pink undertones. So NC is gold and NW is pink. So they do these bronzers the same way. It's all in golden or in rosy, they're calling it. So, and they're all matte by the way. So I got matte light golden and matte light rosy. So these are supposed to be lighter. The reason I wanted to try these out is because bronzer, as you know, for light skin people, I mean, they they have a lot now, you know, they have Hula Light from Benefit and they have some Too Faced options that are lighter. There are brands that have lighter bronzers now. It used to not be such a thing, but I always, being a fair girl myself, as you can see, I'm really getting the winter color going right now. I just appreciate a fair skin bronzer. So here they are. Can you guess which is which? Rosy golden. So anyways, just to talk about the actual package, it has this cool textured, I don't know what this would be called. So this is the one I think is the light golden. And then this is the light rosy right below it here. So yeah, I mean, I love a matte bronzer from MAC. I also got a random paint pot. I love paint pots. I use them all the time. My favorite one for my own self is called Painterly and it's a light pink nude. I use that as my eyeshadow primer every single day. So many, they have sparkly ones. They just make, they're basically a long wear eyeshadow. I like it as a base. So this one is called Groundwork and it's just more of like a mid-tone skin tone. I was looking back on Instagram at some really old MAC pictures from my old manager uh, makeup she had done and she used this with some shimmer pressed on top of it. They don't make it anymore otherwise I would tell you what it was. I can't remember the name but it was basically like a white shimmer almost like a moon dust eyeshadow from Urban Decay. She put that on top of here. But yeah these really help your eyeshadow not crease. They just blend out so pretty. These are the mineral blushes. I feel like I'm sitting so far forward. The camera is set up on a coffee table, so I'm just gonna <laughs> pull you back like that. Hopefully that's okay. That way I can get more comfortable. Okay, so Warm Soul is my favorite color from MAC for their mineral blushes. I'm actually wearing it today. It's just a really nice kind of bronzy blush. The mineral blushes are baked and they have some glow to them. So they just look so pretty on your skin. They're my absolute favorite. So like I said, I'm wearing this, I already own this, but I don't have it in my makeup kit and it's literally my favorite blush probably. And so I just thought, why don't I put this on brides all the time? They have one called Love Joy. If you are darker skin, it's kind of like Warm Soul, but deeper version. So I would always have those two. Like if you do makeup or, you know, have deeper skin, get Love Joy. But if you do makeup on a lot of skin tones, have Warm Soul and Love. I think it's called Love Joy if I'm remembering right. But right off, I love it. Also, I get 40% um, off MAC because I am a makeup artist. So if you have your cosmetology license, aesthetics license, anything like that, apply for their pro card you can get I think like 30 or 40 percent off depending which license you have okay the next one is called humor me and I've never seen this in real life they didn't have this color when I worked there this is looking like a nude very pretty brown nude that looks so pretty that is really nice like when you want just something very light like let's say you're wearing a bold lip color something like this goes really well when you do things like that so it's not too much color going on on your face and then this is Happy Go Rosy. Ooh, this looks fun. <laughs> this looks like a very fun, like 
purpley pink color that would be so pretty like i remember old mac collections in christmas time i just looked at their holiday stuff yesterday online just randomly too it's like sugar plum doesn't that look like a sugar plum color i think that'd be pretty with something like light and sparkly on your eyes purple undertone pink so pretty okay i got a few brushes i love mac brushes they did change their brushes from natural hair like some of them were natural goat hair and then some of them were synthetic now they're all synthetic which obviously is probably best for animal cruelty like we don't want to harm the animals but i'm just curious how they're going to work so this is a 129 it's a blush brush and i only have the real hair version but it's really old and it just when you use it like parts of the brush come off on your face so i felt like it was time for me to get a new one but we'll see it feels very nice and soft and then i just grabbed two of these angle brushes this is my favorite angle brush it's really hard to find good angle brushes i like the sigma ones and these ones and that's about it because all the rest are too thick so this is a 263 and again these used to be animal hair so we'll have to see how it goes but they look nice and thin still they look the same to me so i'll keep you posted i use these for eyeliner like a gel liner i can use them for shadow liner i use them for brows cleaning up lipstick just an angle brush is such an essential thing to do makeup one two three four five six lipsticks and a lot of these are let me look these five are repurchases and then i did get this other one that i've never used so the first one i got is called creme de nude and it's just a really good nude i got this to have for my own self because i'm almost out of it i really like this with a darker lip liner i can't wear it by itself because it's very light it's just a really pretty kind of has like a peach color to it cream sheen you see that color very very pretty nude i like pairing this with boldly bear if you want kind of like a orange peachy look um it's pretty in fall i liked it better when my hair was blonde for some reason i don't i put it on the other day and i'm like ooh, i don't know if i love boldly bear on me with dark hair for some weird reason um but that's a really pretty one i feel like i'm out of breath let me take a quick water break um strip down if you want like a brown nude you can also pair it with whirl from mac as a like a more mauvey look but yeah i really like to use lip liner with this like I, you don't really i don't think you wear it without lip liner because then it just kind of looks like you have no lips next is blankety i hope that's focusing i talk about viva glam too all the time it's one of my favorite lipsticks ever and i feel like blankety is just a little bit of a lighter version of it so if you have fair skin get blankety it's just a beautiful color i don't know if i'm loving these swatches on my arm but we're just gonna roll with it since i already started <laughs> can you see that isn't that pretty so if you want something a smidge darker but like it literally if you put viva glam 2 next to this they are almost the same color viva glam 2 is just a little tiny bit darker okay next i got cherish and i actually got two of them because i need a new one and i want one, wanted one for my kits such a good just everyday brown nude brown i love this with stripped down that's what i pair this with definitely like a peachy peachy brown lip if you have deeper skin than me this is gonna be like a peachy nude on you but because i am light skinned um it looks brown when i put it on my lips very pretty color but warm for sure like wear that with warm soul blush so pretty next i got cream in your coffee and i've actually never owned cream in your coffee i don't think ever but it was like such a good favorite one that people would always buy when i worked at mac it's kind of like whirl it's got that same like pinky red look to it but it's definitely glossier whirl is matte this one is uh i think a cream sheen yes cream sheen let me stand up again i feel like you could see it better isn't that pretty so i just i honestly felt like i needed something like that for usually this is going to sound weird but like moms of the bride or grandmas of the bride i do a lot of bridal makeup and it seems like for some reason more mature women like a darker lip where like the younger crowd right now is going for more nude so anyways i love this color i would wear this for sure i think like in pictures having a darker lip just looks nice so if you're doing event makeup cream in your coffee that's a good color for like fall event makeup okay and then this last one that i've never heard of is called trace blase so this must be a new color it says love me lipstick so i think this is like a permanent line but maybe not i'm scared i never know anymore mac tends to get rid of things it has really pretty packaging with the color on the top and the bottom here which that's cool they do that because when you are digging through 30 lipsticks that look like this trying to find the one you want it's so 
frustrating like when you're working because you're trying to hustle and you're just like nope it's not that one it's always the last fucking one that you grab I'm telling you so I like how this has this because um I'll definitely know where to find it now so it doesn't say what the finish is because it must be like a special finish for this line Ooh, this is a pretty pink I love these colors I got these are all very wearable so that one is the Trace Blase. So that's a pretty pink. I like it because it's not like cool toned, but it's not super like warm pink. I don't know. It's just a good like neutral pink. Like it. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this quick little haul. I just was about to put this all away and I saw my Sam my camera saw my camera sitting here and I thought oh, I'm just gonna do a quick little map call so I can say hi to my YouTube people thank you so much for watching that's the video see you later